Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to another uh, review for Studio Ghibli Review Month. And today, we are doing Spirited Away. For the longest time, Spirited Away was my favorite Studio Ghibli film, and for a lot of people, it's still theirs. Uh, it's the only Studio Ghibli film to win an, I, I believe it was an Academy Award? Was it an Academy Award or an Oscar? I don't know, one of those awards, I don't even know what half of them are. I, I don't really pay too much attention to them. Um, but it won an award, a uh, big award, and ever since it's been like this big deal. It's always seen as like the, just the epitome of Studio Ghibli films. So it's about this young girl named Chihiro who is moving to a new town. She's not exactly thrilled about it and shows her disdain regarding it very early. On their way to their new house, her parents and her stop at what appears to be an abandoned old theme park that was um, kind of like this big deal in the past but was shut down just due to various reasons. So they go off to explore and her parents end up becoming enamored with it. Uh, they find, find this like village-like area where it seems like things are still happening. Uh, they find this place where there's food and the parents start to pig out and say, oh, we'll pay for it later uh, once whoever's running it comes back. But she heroes against this, so she she tries to get them to stop, and when they don't, runs away. She eventually uh, starts to realize that things are not what they seem, and she starts to see these spirits around. Uh, she runs back to where her parents are, finds them turned into pigs, and freaks out. Eventually, a young boy named Haku, voiced by Jason Marsden, who you might know as the voice of Max Goof from a Goofy movie, um, he helps Chihiro get to uh, this bathhouse run by the witch Yubaba. She goes down, she meets Kamaji the Boiler Man, who's this uh, like spider-like guy who controls these cute little soot sprites that everybody loves, and she goes and gets a job working at the bathhouse. Uh, shenanigans ensue, general stuff. We meet this character named No Face, who's a spirit that apparently is kind of this complicated character in and of itself. It wants friends, it seems, um, and the way to get them at first, it, it feels like, oh, I'm going to give them gold, and it seems like people seem to like that. So it offers them gold, and the more it gets, like, it gets people to do what it wants and become friends, friends with it by giving them gold, the more it seems to, like, just kind of make itself at home. It, it starts to, like, kind of become corrupted in a way. It eats uh, different patrons of the bathhouse and whatnot, starts like begging, like bring more food, and becomes this like giant monster that eventually chases Chihiro down through the through the bathhouse. And she eventually stops him, they escape, they go to the witch Yubaba's uh, sister, twin sister's house, yada yada, stuff happens. They go back, Chihiro uh, helps, uh, like, solves this trick by the witch Yubaba, gets her parents back, everything goes back to normal. Now, there's obviously a lot more to it than that. There's the fact that the witch Yubaba is the one who hires Chihiro for the bathhouse, and she does so by taking away her name and giving her the name Sen. Um, sort of like showing, like, I own you now, this is your new name. It's kind of like a, it kind of harkens back to the days of slavery how slaves were often given identities and names by their masters, and they were seen as property. That's kind of how the witch Yubaba is kind of seen this way, but she's not, she's not a bad, evil person like a lot of those slave owners in the past had been. Um, she's actually... She's not terrible. She shows like she has this soft side and this caring side as well. She has a baby named Bo who's voiced by Tara Strong in the dub, um, who she clearly cares for. Uh, she's just she's very strict and old fashioned, you could say. Uh, she sees these contracts that she forms with people as a way to make sure nothing goes against her in a way. Um, she proves that she's. She has a soft side. Uh, the characters of this film are definitely one of the strong points. Uh, Chihiro slash Sen is a great, strong female character. She starts off as very afraid of the world she's stumbled into, and rightfully so. 
But eventually, she not only becomes used to it, but she gains this resolve to push herself through all of these trials and make sure she can do everything she can to help out. When she's working in the bathhouse, she so she shows great strength by pushing through it. And Hayao Miyazaki's always been fantastic with giving us amazing, strong female characters. Chihiro is the one that I think is the first one I really discovered. Uh, Spirited Away, I think, is was my first Studio Ghibli film. It's the one that introduced me to the, the studio. And Chihiro was that character that really brought me in. She's just so, so strong. She, she's young. She's like, what, eight, ten years old? And she's doing all of this just hard labor in order to help her parents and just be able to survive what's going on. And then we have Haku, the boy I mentioned before. Haku is a spirit who has forgotten his true identity. I'm not going to give away who his, what his true identity is in the end, but it's a really good moment. Um, Haku's character is sort of like this guiding force for Chihiro. He's there to like kind of help her along the way, but at the same time, he doesn't just hold her hand and guide her through everything. He lets her figure things out for herself. He lets her do things while also facing his own problems. Uh, especially regarding the witch Yubaba. Um, there are other characters too. I mentioned Yubaba, how she does have a soft side, but she's also very strict and very by the book, by the rules. Um, there's other various characters in it. The Boilerman Kamachi is hilarious. He comes across as this like grumpy old man kind of character at first, but he shows very much that he cares. Um, there's this other woman, and I cannot remember her name for the life of me. Let me look that up real quick. Um, but she kind of acts as uh, Chihiro's uh, friend while working at the bathhouse. She's a fellow um, employee there and helps Chihiro just kind of uh, just kind of have someone to be there with her. Um, let me see if I can find her. Lynn. That's right, Lynn. And she's actually voiced by Susan Egan who is the voice of Rose Quartz from Steven Universe, uh, Megara from Hercules, as well as she's in another Studio Ghibli film, Porco Rosso, as Madame Gina. Um, she's a great voice actress and does an amazing job as Lynn. Um, she really comes across as this caring and helpful person who also has this tough and sassy side to her. And it's basically, it's like, yeah, I can see that. That's kind of how she, that's kind of how her characters go. She was like that as Madame Gina and Porco Rosso. She's like that as Meg and Hercules. Uh, Rose Quartz is not quite the same, not quite as sassy and, and like anything like that. Um, but yeah, um, uh, just a great amount of fantasy in this movie. Like, the fantastical elements, the uh, art style, the just beautiful Japanese-inspired, obviously because it's made by a Japanese company, <laughs> but this the, 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 the Japanese like mythology and spirituality that's brought into this. Um, also, Spirited Away, funny enough, not a lot of people know this, but is actually an allegory. Uh, Hayao Miyazaki is one of those geniuses who kind of puts these messages into all of his movies and Studio Ghibli is no exception. Um, let me see here. There's actually a very specific thing I want to uh, mention about it. I mean, Obviously it, it covers things like greed which is a very big aspect of it but there's actually a very other there's like an other thing it's like it has to do with like the bathhouse and about uh, child uh, labor happening in Japan, um, stuff like that. There's obviously uh, modern Japanese society, uh, generational conflicts, environmental issues brought into that. Uh, but there's something very specific. There's like some. There's a very big thing about it that a lot of people did not know. I don't know. 
I can't find it. But if you guys can remind me in the comments, that would be great. It has something to do with, uh, like, the idea of how in the past in Japan there were, like, these bathhouses and whatnot that would more or less enslave young girls into servitude. Uh, stuff like that. And it was... It, it covers a lot of those kind of themes and topics without directly talking about them. And, again, that's kind of what Hayao Miyazaki does in his films. He addresses those kind of topics without necessarily having to directly reference them. Um, overall, the movie is fantastic. It's one I've watched many times over and over. And every time I do, it's just as magical and just as just as wonderful a journey. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in. Tell me in the comments below what you think of Spirited Away. And for now, I'm Connie Royal, and I'm signing off. See you all next time.